Yo, what's up guys? It's Kyle back again with another video. Thank you for checking in with me. If you don't know who I am, like I said, my name is Kyle. This is my channel. I drop a new YouTube video here every single Friday. And a little bit about myself. I've been coaching CrossFit for almost six years. Been teaching weightlifting for about three. I've gone to University Nationals and the American Open, as well as coached some other athletes to that same level. So today, we are talking about why Jillian Michaels is trolling all of us and CrossFit. So in the videos I make, I try and make them educational and centered around fitness and exercise. So any of the pictures or footage I show, I don't necessarily own. I'm just using them to help illustrate the gravity of the situation and the opinions expressed on either side. I don't personally agree with what she's saying. And what I think is funny about this topic in particular is everything Jillian Michaels says that's wrong with CrossFit is actually what CrossFit is all about. So that's why I think that she's just really trolling us all. And it's right before the CrossFit Open 2019, baby. It starts next Thursday. So maybe she's just trying to ride the wave. Who knows? I think everybody has a pretty good idea of who Jillian Michaels is. He's a pretty household name when it comes to exercise. But for those of you who don't know, or maybe it's been a while since you've seen her, this is her. That's right. Yep. And this is also her. Right, guys this lady is the one who's criticizing CrossFit and saying that it doesn't work and if you follow me on Instagram at Archbishop Crancher you've probably already seen that I've been posting a little bit about this but there's just so much to expand on and so much I felt like wasn't being said from our side I was like you know what I'm gonna make a video about it so here we are I have a few issues with CrossFit which is not a secret so my issues with CrossFit are as follows. First of all, you've got like, what, maybe 20 to 25 movements? What the f 20 to 25 movements? Yeah, maybe for like the clean variations alone, there are so many movements. Look at this short list right here. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I think it really comes from misinformation or she doesn't even care to do a little bit of research before hopping on the Instagram. That don't really vary? Don't really vary? Greg Glassman himself, the CEO of CrossFit, has the tagline, constantly varied functional movement, executed at high intensity. Constantly. Varied. And you're doing them over and over and over again. So on one hand, it stops being effective because you're not challenging the body from various angles of push and pull. Yeah, I mean, I wish we had more various angles of push and pull. It's not like we do push-ups, handstand push-ups, strict press, push press, jerk, push jerk, split jerk. Not like we do deadlifts or cleans or snatches or sumo deadlift high pull or kettlebell swings. No, we don't do any of that stuff. None of those are push, none of those are pull. And we don't do any of them. With different varieties of exercises and different types of movement that work different modalities. And I know CrossFit, oh, we work all the modalities, but no, not really. So with her little DVD routines always being the same length, she doesn't take into consideration at all the three main metabolic pathways that we should be training in, which are right here. We have the phosphogenic, the glycolytic, and the oxidative. I wonder what she's doing to really work in that glycolytic or um, phosphogenic phases, those really short, fast, and high intensity ones. That would be interesting. Maybe we should introduce her to Fran. Oh, oh, oh it's a deep burn. Oh, it's so deep. Ah. Oh, I could barely lift my right arm because I did so many. So the second half to Glassman's tagline of constantly varied functional movement executed at high intensity which pretty much means do a lot of different stuff really fast to get you fit, is to increase work capacity across broad time and modal domains. Broad time, a lot of different time frames, and modal domains, modalities, different stuff, long, short, fast, heavy, light, moderate, 
rowing, running, gymnastics. Those are all different facets of fitness. And I don't think I've ever seen Jillian do any type of gymnastic stuff. Never seen her do a muscle up. Never seen her do a clean. Never seen her do a snatch. So maybe she should explore those types of things. So shouldn't you choose a workout that has a little bit more flexibility and strength so you get more mobility? More flexibility and more strength? Have you ever tried to snatch? That's like the epitome of both of those things. If you got bad ankle mobility, bad shoulder mobility, bad hip mobility, there's no way you're gonna snatch any kind of weight. But if you do have those things, you could really put up some serious weight. I doubt she can. Not just power, which is speed and strength, you get a lot of that in CrossFit. You're goddamn right. A little agility work, maybe some endurance training. Endurance training? Clearly, she's never gone to a gym on Memorial Day to do this little workout we call Murph. If that's not endurance training, I don't know what else is, honestly, guys. So that you're training in a more balanced way, right? To keep the body changing and keep your training more holistic by hitting all modalities of fitness. At the end of the day, I guess any movement is better than no movement, but saying that you train in a more holistic way when you never pick up something heavy, that's not really holistic because you're missing out on a whole part of your fitness. If you're never going really hard, really fast for a short amount of time, that's again, neglecting an area of your fitness. If you're working just for 60 minutes just to stay moving, doing body weight stuff, that's what you're gonna be really good at. Everything outside of that, you're gonna suck at. But what do you guys think? Do you think that she has some validity with what she's saying? Or do you think that she's just trying to stay relevant? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you agree with my point, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and give me a like. If you want to see more content that I put out on this channel every single Friday, centered around fitness and weightlifting, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.